Hey guys, our story this week is Two of Everything by Lily Toy Hong. And our essential question is, what good things happen when people work together? So our skill this week is understanding characters. So think about how characters act when something important happens to them. Think about what they say, what they do, and think. These details give text evidence to help you understand more about them. So as we read, or as I read this, I want you to look for what the characters are saying, what they're doing, what they're thinking, and what that says about them. Like, what are some character traits that you can think of based on the the character's words, actions, and thoughts? So again, this is Two of Everything by Lily Toy Hong. This is a folk tale, which is a story that is often told by people in a country, or of a country. As you read, look for a simple plot that teaches a lesson, and the events that could not happen in real life. So, um, Ye Shen was also a folktale where she, where the reader can learn a lesson at the end of the story. So, think about the lesson you could learn at when we get done reading this story. Once long ago, in a humble little hut, lived Mr. Hacktack and his wife, Mrs. Hacktack. They were very old and very poor. What little they ate came from their tiny garden. In a lucky year when the harvest was plentiful, Mr. Hacktack had a little extra to take to the village. There he traded turnips, potatoes, and other vegetables for clothing, lamp oil, and fresh seeds. So... So far we know about them is that they are very poor and they can they only eat what comes from their tiny garden. So I think that what we can say about them through those is they manage with very little and they're hard working. So they don't need a lot to be happy. One spring morning, when Mr. Hacktack was digging in his garden, his shovel struck something hard. Puzzled, he dug deeper into the dark ground until he came upon an ancient pot made of brass. How odd, said Mr. Hacktack to himself, to think that I've been digging here all these years and never come upon this pot before. I will take it home. Maybe Mrs. Hacktack can find some use for it. So what does Mr. Hacktack discover in his garden? Well, he finds a very old pot made of brass. Do you think this pot will play an important part in the story? Well, I think it probably will because Mr. Hacktack says it's odd, meaning it's unique and it's kind of a weird thing to find. Stories often are based on odd and surprising events. The pot was big and heavy for Mr. For old Mr. Hacktack. As he stumbled along, his purse, which contained his last five gold coins, fell to the ground. He tossed it into the pot for safekeeping and staggered home. His wife greeted him at the door. Dear husband, what a strange pot! Mr. Hacktack explained how he found the pot. I wonder what we could do with it, said Mr. Hacktack. It looks too large to cook in and too small to bathe in. As Mrs. Hacktack leaned over to peer into the pot, her hairpin, the only one she owned, fell in. She felt around the pot, and suddenly her eyes grew round with surprise. Look, she shouted, I've pulled out two hairpins, exactly alike, and two purses too. Sure enough, the purses were identical, and so were the hairpins. Inside each purse were five gold coins. 
Mr. Hacktack was so excited, he jumped up and down. Let's put my winter coat inside the pot. If we are lucky again, the pot will make two coats. And then we will stay warm. And we will both stay warm. So into the pot went one coat, and out came two coats. They began to search the house and quickly put more things into the magical pot. If only we had some meat, wished Mr. Hattack, or fresh fruit, or one delicious sweet cake. So what has happened to everything that's gone into the pot? Well, everything is doubled. Everything they put into the pot gets duplicated, so they have an extra one. Mr. Hacktack smiled. I know how we can get anything we want, she said. She put their ten coins into the purse, then threw it in the pot. She pulled out two purses with ten coins in each. What a clever wife I have, cried Mr. Hacktack. Each time we do this, we have twice as much money as before. The hack tax worked late into the night filling and emptying the pot until the floor was covered with coins. So let's look at this, analyze the text question, understanding characters. Do you agree with Mr. Hacktack that his wife is clever? Well, I would agree because so far she's figured out to get the things they want even though they don't have them, they can't duplicate them. If she puts more money into the pot, the money is getting duplicated. And so they can use that money to go buy the things that they need. Morning came and off went, to, off went Mr. Hacktack with a long list of things to buy in the village. Instead of vegetables, his basket was full of gold coins. Mrs. Hacktack finished all of her chores and sat down to enjoy a cup of tea. She sipped her tea and admired the brass pot. Then, with a grateful heart, she knelt and embraced it. Dear Pot, I do not know where you came from, but you are my best friend. She stooped over the pot to look inside. At that very moment, Mr. Hacktack returned. His arms were so full of packages that he had to kick the door open. Bang! Mrs. Hacktack was so startled that she lost her balance and fell head first into the pot. Mr. Hacktack ran over and grabbed his wife's legs. He pulled and tugged until she slid out onto the floor. But when he looked at the pot again, he gasped. Two more legs were sticking straight out of it. Naturally, he took a hold of the ankles and pulled. Out came a second person. She looked exactly like his wife. Whew. The new Mrs. Hacktack sat silently on the floor, looking lost. But the first Mrs. Hacktack cried, I am your one and only wife. Put that woman back into the pot right now. Mr. Hacktack yelled, No, if I put her back, we will not have two women but three. One wife is enough for me. He backed away from his angry wife and tripped and fell head first into the pot himself. <laughs> so how can the reader tell that the original Mrs. Hacktack is jealous of the new Mrs. Hacktack? Well, if we look back, the original, the first Mrs. Hacktack, yells at Mr. Hacktack and tells him to put the other Mrs. Hacktack back into the pot. But now, he fell into the pot himself, so... Both Mrs. Hacktacks rushed over to rescue him. Each grasped an ankle, and together they pulled him out. There were two more legs in the pot. So they pulled out the other Mr. Hacktack too. Just what he just what use does one Mr. Hacktack have for another? 
Mr. Hacktack cried angrily. This pot is not as wonderful as we thought it would be. Not even our troubles are now even our troubles are beginning to double. But his wife had been thinking while he was yelling. So what does Mr. Hacktack do when the when the pot starts causing problems? Well, he's just yelling and gets angry. But whereas Mrs. Hacktack she starts thinking about a solution to their problem. And you can see on her face, she's tr- she looks more pleasant. Calm down, she said. It is good that the other Mrs. Hacktack has her own Mr. Hacktack. Perhaps we will become best of friends. After all, we are so alike... He will be a brother to you, and she a sister to me. With our pot, we can make two of everything. So there will be plenty to go around. And that is what they did. The hack tax built two fine new homes. Each house had identical teapots, rice bowls, silk embroideries, and bamboo furniture. From the outside, the houses looked exactly alike. But there was one difference. Hidden in one house was a big brass pot. Of course, the hack tacks were always very careful not to fall into it again. So what problem did they have at the end of the story? Well, they're trying to figure out what to do with the new Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack. And they solved it by doubling everything that they had to give the new Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack something to live in. And the only difference is, is that the original Mr. and Mrs. Hacktack have the pot, whereas the new couple do not. The new Hacktacks and the old Hacktacks did become good friends. The neighbors thought that the hack tax had grown so rich that they decided to have two of everything, even themselves. So what happens to the new Mr. and Mrs. Hack Tack at the end of the story? Well, they move into their new home. And I think the original Mr. and Mrs. Hack Tack feel happy because they do have new friends. <laughs>